Hello, my friends. Welcome again to the uh, Metal Shop Garage. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about lowering your Ford Explorer, their Explorer Sport, Platinum, what have you, and alignment. There's a bunch of uh, information out there on the net, misinformation and good information on the net about do I need an alignment when I lower my vehicle. Um, the springs available for the Explorer only lower it uh, 1.6 inches in the front and 2.3 inches in the rear. So that's not very drastic. Uh, you wouldn't think that that would require an alignment. But what we're looking at here is the graph that I got from my local alignment center, a town fair tire, and where you see all the red, those are the measurements before. And all of the toe on all four wheels is out of spec. That one, that one, fronts and rears, um, completely, completely out of spec. All of them were toe except I guess one of the camber was, was off, not the toe. So the answer, quick answer to this is absolutely yes. You do need the alignment. So I had um, the vehicle lowered first, and the technician that did it told me, he's like, you need to you have an alignment. He said, usually when you lower a vehicle, it will mess up the toe. And I kind of dismissed what he said, and you know, this guy's infinitely more knowledgeable than I am, and I should have been smarter than that. And I was like, oh, come on. I only lowered it a little bit. What do I need? Then I put the uh, Celine wagon wheels on, and a different guy, it was a kind of a tire technician, but he's really good at what he does. He's really a tire and offset and camber and you know type of guru and he said you need to he said if you had this you haven't had this aligned yet he didn't say have you he said you have not had this aligned yet have you same shop where I had the springs put in I said no not yet and he's like he's like your tires are starting to wear that you know they're starting to cup a little bit he said I can't remember front or rear or if it was both but they're, they're starting to wear unevenly he's like and, he, and this is a young kid you know maybe 22 23 years old you know telling me he said, listen, alignments are cheap, tires are expensive. <laughs> he said, get it aligned. So, all right, so I finally did, and I'm glad that I did. And the guy told me, yeah, you know, he showed me this graph, and he said, yeah, it's way out of whack. And I had them try and put the uh, Celine performance alignment specs on the Explorer. And Celine's alignment specs are pretty much the same across the board, no matter what the vehicle is. Their, you know, their performance alignment, their race alignment is, um, you know, as as close to zero toe as you can possibly get no more than a sixteenth of an inch total toe and, and and that's what you try for in every vehicle is to get as close to zero your wheels are, are running straight um, where the race alignment portion comes in is the camber they want um, negative uh, three quarters of a degree camber um, where you know the wheel is it uh, I believe that leans in negative camber is when the top of the wheel is leaning in just a hair. So Celine specs are, you know, three quarters of an inch or 0.75 um, and negative camber. So I had them uh, try, you know, their very best to get the those Celine specs and totally within spec for the toe on um, on the fronts. Um, the rears is, is completely is completely different. The toe is, you know, it's completely in the green. It's completely acceptable. But acceptable, yeah, acceptable. I can talk. Um, but more toe is allowed in the rear and the camber in the front is where it's obviously most important you know for steering and maneuvering is I am um, I got it on the right front um, 0.8 so I'm very close and 0.5 is all I could get on the uh, the left pretty pretty close um, again all within the green from the from Ford specs you gotta understand these guys are making gross adjustments um, with a giant you know, like a, the nut is huge. I watched them do it with the wrench, and you know these these minute adjustments are making these decimals. It's 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 very, it'd be very very difficult to get 0.7 on either one turning. Make it with the gross adjustments that are available from Ford. So anyway, long and short of this, sorry. You know, for we're at uh, almost five minutes here. If you lower your vehicle, you do absolutely have to have it aligned. 
Um, alignment was cheap. I did it on a friend of mine who owns a, a large auto body business. They have an account at Town Fair Tire. I got a four wheel alignment for 39 bucks. And tires for the Explorer, I mean, are probably gonna cost you seven to eight hundred dollars for four tires and these are it is alignable on all four wheels there is adjustment on the rears not like the old uh, solid axle days so there a uh, little bit about alignment for the Explorer and let's see I wanted to talk a little bit about um, some upcoming projects here I love my Borla you can look at the look at the Borla hat I can give a shameless plug for Borla love the exhaust on the car it's really growing on me sound is really mellowed out and it's just i mean when you put that thing in sport mode and use your paddle shifters it's it's fantastic it's the, the closest thing you can get to driving you know a standard it's a lot of fun so what do i have upcoming i bought a an analog boost gauge and a nice pod um, i'm not gonna once i have it in hand there's hardly anything out there it's hard to find any kind of aftermarket gauges for the uh, explorers for these new explorers but i did find one and so that's an upcoming project. I have an analog gauge pod, and I may, um, the the OBD pod, uh, gauge that I wanted, these new gauges, these super gauges, you know, they're $200, $250, $300. They plug into your OBD port, and the gauge, you know, you can toggle through it, and it will show you everything that your onboard diagnostics are reading. So, I mean, the Explorer Sport should have a boost gauge. I mean, Ford's SVO in 1984, 85, and 86 had a boost gauge. You're selling a twin turbo vehicle, Again, you know, I love my Explorer Sport, but it should have a large dial tachometer, a large dial speedometer, and it should have a boost gauge. Even a digital boost gauge would be fine. You know, an analog boost gauge would be better, but it needs a boost gauge. So anyway, I have a Celine uh, analog boost gauge. I may run that. I don't know. That may prove too difficult to um, to wire in the analog old school type of gauge. Um, in this car that's so sophisticated. Uh, what else do I have upcoming? I have, enjoy the looking at my floor, I have, oh, there's things to come. I have the new windshield banner, and I, this is a different windshield banner. The one I got was a, like a 0 through 04 banner before, and this one, I don't know, it's hard to see, but it is, it is shaped like a smile I guess for lack of a better term it if you see if you look at the spacing here um, you see you'll see how it curves so I'm hoping this one will go on the windshield this is an 05 to 09 um, I'm hoping that this will go on the windshield much easier and look at this this is kind of weird I'm not sure what to do about this there's a border it's a decal border all the way around the outside of this they most assuredly did not put those on the car, but I, you know, this one has a, has the border on it, so we'll see. Um, I've been promising videos about the uh, S331, and I I will I promise that I will do an extended video on the S331. It is also available on my my blog, my old antiquated you know picture and text blog, uh, JC's the Metal Shop. It's out there. And I will turn that into a video. I'm going to do the motorcycle. That is a 2006 BMW K1200S. I'll do in depth on the motorcycle. Again, that's also on the old the old blog. And I will do my Fox body Mustang, uh, Celine GT, uh, in an upcoming episode. All right. So as always, my friends, thank you for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. You know, if you're new to the channel. And uh, if you feel so inclined, please give me a thumbs up. All right, my friends, take care.